disco's topless to fashion week party. This was actually the after show for Alexander Wang in Brooklyn, New York, and she showed up wearing um, ice cream cone pasties. Yes. They looked like they had a little bit of like a nipple clamp on them. And then she had sunglasses on that had pills on them. And then also she was wearing, at least I could only see one pot leaf earring. Maybe she was wearing two. And of course, everybody's been talking about this outfit. And she actually showcased some of the photos on her Instagram. One of the photos she felt like she had to explain because people were commenting on this pink business on her chest. So she wrote, quote, by the way, I don't have some weird rash. I got pink glitter rubbed all over me on the party bus. Hashtag rave thoughts, five words or less. Ice cream for Miley. <laughs> Newsflash, pasties ain't tasty. Ooh. Let me lick it for it melts. <laughs> 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 oh gosh, she's ice screaming for attention. Yeah, two Thank points. Thank you. Of Sarah. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about you guys. A lot of people are speculating because she was wearing that and she was advocating like drug culture with her earrings and her glasses that she was on drugs. What do you guys think about that? Here's the thing. Um, I think a lot there? of fashion emerges from subcultures, and I think that's what she was channeling. So you don't think she was on Molly and and, and smoking weed in the party she bus, the rave smoking bus. weed? Oh, Who cares? I wanted to comment back on the rash thing. It was funny for me. She's like, oh no, the rash was just something that someone rubbed on me. Like not even commenting the fact that you're wearing ice cream pasties. <laughs> right. As if that takes away from it. I agree with your fashion, but I. I I get conflicted when it comes to Miley, because you guys know that I love Miley Cyrus, but I also do know when I went to that Miley Cyrus concert, she does still have really young fans, and I know that's not up to her. And we always advocate that on this show. Let the musicians be the musicians, the parents should be the parents. But then when I saw all those people dressed like Miley that were like 13, and of course it falls on the parents, part of me is like, ah, oh, Miley, I just wish you would think about it a little bit more. And again, that's not fair to me to impose that on her. But I think of like those 13, 14 year olds that see her wearing like the pill glasses and it's just part of me that wanted to say that. The whole idea of them saying, oh, is, is this a terrible thing that Miley is wearing something that channels rave culture which celebrates ecstasy and molly and weed it's almost like they're saying come on, this is fashion, we only do cocaine. You know what I used to eat for breakfast? Cocaine. You know what I used to eat for lunch? Cocaine. What'd you have for dinner? Was it cocaine? But it's like her whole fashion was Here's the thing. was rave wear. Fashion week yeah. in this world of emaciated models who have to stay that way, they're all on cocaine. Yeah. That is all they they're do. They're not all on cocaine, Brad. Blur. That's not fair. Some of them really do have like really skinny, uh, fast metabolism. A lot of them are 13, 14 years old. They haven't even developed yet. First of all, that's disgusting. Yeah. Just Secondly, saying. Lots of cocaine. Sorry, I take it back. I'm rounding up from 90% to 100, and that's not fair. Okay, so what did you think about her wearing that to the Alexander Wing after party, though? I thought it was fine. Yeah, I okay. Care. I think I mean, she looks awesome. Yeah, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't shock me after the whole wrecking ball and twerking just constantly thing, but I mean, I do agree with you on the whole, like, the idea that she does have young fans. Like, I could just imagine these kids going, I want to go and see Hannah Montana, and then turn it up and be like, Oh, yeah. Shit. It made me so uncomfortable. Her. Before that, I never even gave it a second shot. I was always like, parents, you be the parents, let Miley be Miley, until I saw it in person. <laughs> and now it's always in the back of my head. Yeah. This is probably not the weirdest thing someone wore at Fashion Week. Yeah, of course it, is a, it is a week of people wearing insane things. Right. And it was the after party, and it was at yeah. a party bus, and I think the whole theme was kind of like rave-esque, and I think she was going with that theme. What, but again... I don't know, maybe she did so. perform, which is when you perform, Whether you almost get a, a free pass, right? You can yeah. wear whatever the hell you want. But I also have to say, um, again, I mean, this is Miley manipulating the media because she knew that we would all, she knows she's going to be photographed and she's wearing her little pasties and of course we're all going to talk about it. So in a way, whether she was singing or not, she was still performing. Yeah. yeah. I yes. just know Very well put, yes. so. that if Miley wants to free the nipple, there's nothing wrong with that. No, there is not. I want Brie to free the nipple. Brie the nipple! <laughs> Bree the nipple. Let's get it trending, everybody. One Our, day. One, one she day. said one day. She it's said coming. one day. It's coming. Okay. So please let us know your thoughts on Miley Cyrus's uh, nipple fashion. Yeah. yeah. Okay. In the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow us on Instagram as well as Tumblr at The Real Pop Trigger. And also check out our new Hulu episodes. Unseen episodes every Thursday. We'll see you guys all next time on Pop Trigger.